Western United States has so many amazing and remarkable geologic sites. A favorite among visitors is Zion National Park in southern Utah. Zion is a part of the Grand Staircase, a 10,000-foot series of sedimentary layers stretching from the bottom of the Grand Canyon in Arizona to Bryce Canyon in Utah. The bottom layer of Zion is the same layer found at the top of the Grand Canyon. Zion is a relatively small national park compared to many at 229 square miles and only 15 miles long. Zion became a national park in 1919, but the habitation of this canyon by Native Americans goes back thousands of years. The first permanent European American settler in the canyon called his new home Zion because he felt a man can worship God among these great cathedrals as well as in any man-made church. Many of the formations in the park have biblical references such as the Great White Throne, the Three Patriarchs, and Angels Landing. They were named by Frederick Fisher, a Methodist minister. In addition to the canyon, the east side of the park contains some amazing rolling hills of sandstone crossbeds in an area called Checkerboard Mesa. Standing over 2,000 feet, these are some of the highest sandstone cliffs in the world. The crisscrossing patterns are due to the layers being deposited in flowing water. This valley has clear signs of the sandstone being formed by water, then eroded by water. Zion includes nine separate geologic formations thought by secular scientists to cover 150 million years of Earth's history. Yet, those who believe in long ages have some major challenges when trying to explain what we see at Zion, because a proper understanding of the evidence doesn't mesh with their story. Instead, astute researchers recognized the catastrophic formation of the layers and the cutting of this enormous canyon. It wasn't millions of years, but perhaps just weeks. Zion is a towering example of geologic action due to the catastrophic flood action, the biblical flood of Noah's day. 